around 540 BC, Leonidas was a part of the Aegead dynasty, a lineage that traced its roots back to the legendary demigod Heracles. As a child, Leonidas was not pampered due to his royal blood. Instead, he was subjected to the same rigorous training known as the Elgoji that every Spartan boy underwent. This training, designed to create perfect warriors, shaped Leonidas into a fearless fighter and a wise leader. The Spartan society, known for its military strength and discipline, was ruled by two kings belonging to the Agiad and Europontid dynasties. Leonidas, belonging to the Agiad dynasty, was the third son of King Anaxandridas II. His path to the throne was not direct. After the death of his father and the subsequent reign of his half-brother, Cleomenes I, Leonidas finally ascended to the throne around 489 BCE. He was the son of King Anaxandridas II and ascended to the throne around 489 BCE, succeeding his half-brother, King Cleomenes III. Leonidas was not just a king, but also a husband and a father. His queen was Gorgo, a woman of noted intellect and wisdom. Gorgo was not just his wife, but also his confidant, offering counsel to him in matters of state. Their union was not merely one of political convenience, but a relationship of mutual respect and affection. This was quite unusual in a society where women often played secondary roles. Gorgo, however, was an exception, a testament to the progressive nature of Spartan society compared to other Greek city-states. Together, Leonidas and Gorgo had a son, Pleistarchus. As a father, Leonidas would have been responsible for his son's education in the Agogi, the rigorous training program that all Spartan youths underwent. This program shaped Pleistarchus into a warrior, preparing him for the throne he was to inherit, and he who would later succeed Leonidas as the king of Sparta. In 480 BCE, Leonidas led a small force of 300 Spartan warriors against the invading Persian army at the Battle of Thermopylae. This wasn't just any army they were up against. The Persian forces led by King Xerxes were a gargantuan horde that outnumbered the Spartans by a staggering ratio. Some ancient sources suggest the Persian army may have been as large as 2 million, but modern historians estimate it to be closer to a still astounding 150,000. The Spartans, however, were not alone. They were part of a coalition of Greek city-states who had put aside their squabbles to face the common enemy. Nevertheless, the total Greek force was still severely outnumbered. Thermopylae, the hot gates, was chosen as the battleground because of its narrow passage, which could help neutralize the Persian advantage in numbers. The battle commenced with the Persians launching wave after wave of infantry against the Spartan-led Greek forces. Despite their superior numbers, the Persians were unable to break through the disciplined ranks of the Greeks. The Spartans, masters of a warfare style known as the phalanx, were skilled and disciplined, turning the narrow terrain into an ally. Each Spartan was a professional soldier, trained from a young age to be a warrior. Their shield was their comrade's protection, their spear, the deliverer of death. Every Spartan knew that his role was not to survive, but to fight and to protect his fellow warrior. This deep sense of duty, brotherhood, and sacrifice was what made the Spartan warriors a force to be reckoned with, even when faced with overwhelming odds. As the battle raged on, a local resident named Ephialtes betrayed the Greeks by revealing a mountain path that led behind the Greek lines to the Persians. This treacherous act changed the course of the battle. Leonidas, upon learning of the betrayal, dismissed the majority of the Greek army, choosing to stay behind with his 300 Spartans and a few other Greeks. They would hold the line to the last man, providing crucial time for the rest of the Greek forces to retreat and regroup. The final assault by the Persians was brutal. The Greeks fought valiantly, but they were eventually overwhelmed. Leonidas was among those who fell. Yet, even in death, he and his men had inflicted significant casualties on the Persian forces. Their valiant stand ended in their death, but their actions would echo through history. The Battle of Thermopylae served as a beacon of courage and sacrifice. It demonstrated that valor isn't always measured in victory, but in the willingness to stand and fight, regardless of the odds. In the end, the Spartans may have lost their lives, but they won immortality in the annals of history. Leonidas's legacy is one of courage and sacrifice. He has left an indelible mark not only on the annals of Greek history, but also on the collective consciousness of mankind. His story, 
one of a king leading a small band of warriors against an overwhelming enemy force is a timeless tale of bravery, honor, and defiance. Leonidas' impact on Greece during his reign and beyond was profound. His heroic stand at the Battle of Thermopylae ignited a spark of unity amongst the city-states. This unity, born out of shared respect and admiration for the Spartan king and his warriors, led to an unprecedented level of cooperation against the Persian invaders. His actions, although ending in defeat, changed the course of the Persian Wars, giving the Greeks the inspiration and courage to ultimately resist and repel the Persian forces. The tale of Leonidas and his 300 Spartans has also found its way into literature and film, becoming a symbol of heroism and resistance. The graphic novel 300 by Frank Miller and its subsequent film adaptation brought the story of Leonidas to a new generation. The depiction of Leonidas as a fearless leader, willing to sacrifice everything for his people and his homeland, resonates with audiences worldwide. The phrase, this is Sparta, from the film, has become an iconic line, further embedding the legend of Leonidas within popular culture. But the significance of Leonidas's story extends beyond the borders of Greece and the realm of entertainment. It serves as a poignant reminder of the power of courage in the face of overwhelming odds. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, the will to stand up for what one believes in, no matter the cost. It's a narrative that continues to inspire and resonate, particularly in times of struggle and conflict. In today's world where challenges are plenty, the story of Leonidas serves as a beacon of hope and resilience. It's a reminder that courage and sacrifice can indeed change the course of history. It tells us that one person, one decision, can make a difference. It's a lesson that continues to inspire leaders, soldiers, and individuals around the globe. Leonidas and his 300 Spartans may have lost the battle, but their actions at Thermopylae became a symbol of resistance, inspiring the Greeks to unite against the Persians. His legacy is not one of defeat, but of valor and unity. His name, his story, continues to echo through the ages, reminding us all of the power of courage, of sacrifice, and of standing up for what we believe in.